Hey guys, it's Gressel and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I did this black smoky eye look. If you want to see this video, please keep on watching. Okay, so starting with the primer, I'm going to be using this Glam Glow Illuminating Primer. And I'm just going to be applying that all over my face. And today we're actually not going to be using any foundation. I'm going to be using this CC Cream from IF Cosmetics. I got this from my Sephora play probably two months ago and this is my first time trying it and as you can see it is very dewy I do not recommend this when you're taking pictures because it has SPF 50 now I'm just gonna spot conceal my blemishes using my holy grail concealer the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer I'm also going to take a lighter shade of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to highlight my face. And I'm just going to blend it out using my Real Techniques sponge. Now go ahead and bake your face and here I'm using the Airspun Loose Powder. Not only this will help our makeup last longer, but it will also help us with the fallout of the eyeshadows for later. Taking my semi-sweet palette from Too Faced, I'm taking coconut cream as a base. Then I'm going to be taking peanut butter as a transition color. Now I'm going to be taking mousse for our crease. Now I'm going to be taking my black L'Oreal eyeliner and I'm going to be putting this on my lid. This will act as a base for our black eyeshadow later. This doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend it out anyways. Now I'm going to be taking licorice and I'm going to be putting that where I put the eyeliner earlier. Make sure you don't bring it all the way up because you want to leave a space to blend out the eyeshadows later. I'm going to be taking a dark brown eyeshadow. This is in the shade Truffled and I'm going to be putting that on my crease. This will also help us blend the black eyeshadow without getting it too messy. Make sure you blend everything out to make sure that there are no more harsh lines. I'm 
I'm gonna be tight lining my eyes using my L'Oreal eyeliner. And I'm also gonna be putting that on my waterline. Here I'm gonna be taking the shade Truffled again and I'm gonna apply that on my lower lash line to smudge out the eyeliner. Now I'm just going to be adding more truffle on my crease just to make the eyeshadows blend a little bit better. Here I'm going to be using Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline and I'm just going to apply that on my lashes. Okay, so now go ahead and pop on some falsies. This I got from eBay, but honestly, I do not recommend this, you guys. It's very hard to apply and very heavy on the eyes. I recommend the wispies a little bit more than this, but I just wanted uh, dramatic eyelashes for this look, and that's why I kept using it. So now I'm gonna be taking the shade Butter Pecan and I'm gonna be putting that on my inner corner. Who else makes funny faces when they do their makeup? Cause look at me you guys. Okay, so it's time to bronze up our face. Here I'm using the Cargo Bronzer and there is no shade on this one. I don't know why, but I got this from my BoxyCharm like two months ago. Here I'm going to be using another Milani blush. These are my favorite blush to use. This is in the shade Romantic Rose. Okay, so now time for our highlight. Here I'm using the Jeffree Star Siberian Gold Highlighter. And for our lips today, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Point Zero. This is in a collaboration with Kathleen Lights, and I really love this shade. This is one of my favorite shades from her collection. Now go ahead and set your face and using the Makeup Forever Setting Spray. Here is the final look you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And see you guys next time. Bye!